Good evening, everyone. Welcome back north and south. We continue with Dynasty Schools trying to get in all the rivalry games that they can. Boys soccer front and center. After North won the girls matchup Monday, can the Patriots make it a soccer sweep? Let's find out and take you to North for the Patriots and Braves. First half, Patriots on the move. You've got to see this play. They blow by the South keeper. The shot looks like it's going in, but South will tell him the save of the night. Hits the post even. No score still in this one later in the first half. Grant Esper of Terre Haute South with a great ball here towards the North net, but that is scooped up by North's keeper, Gabe Brewer. We are still locked out scoreless. North gets another chance. Mason Meeks Johnson with a shot here at the end of the first half. That goes wide of the net. Still knotted at zero. Both teams would still battle in the second half. It's Adam Andres with a look. Brewer is there to scoop it up again. No score. Here we go. Under 10 minutes to play. North would finally break through. Noah Sutton finds Will Anders on the move, and he puts this one in the corner. That is the lone goal of the night. One to nothing. The Patriots lead, and they win the cup trophy on the north side. On their home field, they beat Terre Haute South in a good one tonight. One to nothing, the final. Hats off to both teams for a very good contest. We caught up with tonight's hero. Yeah, very exciting. Probably my most exciting moment ever uh, for my soccer career. After I congratulated them, they played very well. We capitalized on our chances, and uh, we came out with a win, so I'm glad with that. Uh, boost our confidence, and we know what we can do now. High school football, another day closer to Friday. Our big game this week is the Sullivan Golden Arrows hosting the Linton Miners. Friday marks the 103rd meeting between these two schools. Let's check in with the home team, the Golden Arrows, who are 1-0 on the season after beating North Knox 48-19 Friday night down in Bicknell. Sullivan also boasting our play of the night winner for week one, Rowdy Adams hitting Grant Bell for a 50-yard touchdown pass. The Arrows last beat Linton in 2018. The last time this game was in Sullivan, and just like Friday night's nice meeting, head coach Blaine Powell played for the Miners, so he understands, both coaches do, how much this means to both communities. Also, there may not be a better rivalry in the state. Since the Miners have won three of the last four, is Sullivan an underdog? Here is Coach Powell. With the turnover of, of kids and, and everything, you, I don't think there's ever really an underdog. And, uh, you know, I, th I think it's going to be a really good game, you know the underdog or favorite or anything like that it really doesn't come into play in this game because it's you know it's such a rivalry game and you know both teams are going to be ready to go and well prepared and uh, you know I, I guarantee you both teams are ready for it it's our biggest fan base game you know but this year there'll be people watching from home you know still everybody's going to try and get their eyes on it it's something to see it's the biggest rivalry one of the biggest rivalries in the state so Sullivan Lenton, just one of the many games you'll see Friday night going to the end zone at 11 p.m. right here on WTWO. Sticking with football, a big day for the Indiana State football family. As a member of the Sycamores, now one of the newest members of the Indianapolis Colts. Here are the details. The Colts have signed Sycamore, an undrafted free agent tight end, Dominic Daphne. He is sporting number 47, getting some work in at Colts Camp in Indy today. Very cool to see. 6'3", 235-pounder. Daphne was second-team All-Missouri Valley Football Conference last year at fullback. Picked up some newcomer recognition after totaling 635 total yards. He had a team-high seven touchdowns. He also rushed for 244 yards at Missouri State. So how about a Sycamore who is now on the Colts roster, and we will keep you posted on that. Staying with Indy Sports, two days after being swept by the Miami Heat in the first round of the NBA playoffs, in a bubble, the Pacers are making a big move. Nate McMillan is out as the head coach after four seasons. This is just two weeks after the Pacers offered him an extension. He took over the job right before the 2016-2017 basketball season. During his tenure, he led the Pacers to a 183-136 record. They were only 3-16 in the playoffs, however. His 183 wins is the head coach of the Pacers, his third all-time in the team's NBA history. Search is now underway for a new leader of the Blue and Gold. Nate is out after four years. Some big news out of the NBA tonight. After the police shooting of Jacob Blake in the Bucks' home of the Wisconsin, the Bucks boycotted their game against the Orlando Magic. Bucks players joining a number of other professional athletes who have come out against police brutality, saying there is not enough being done to make change. In a response, the NBA and the NBA Players Association canceled all games tonight. Houston Rockets against the Thunder and the Lakers against the Trailblazers also canceled along with the Bucks and Magic's Magic game five of each of these series we think 
will be res rescheduled. We'll have to wait and see what the league does next. Big changes to the Rose Holman fall sports calendar today. The school and league were hoping to have tennis, cross country, and golf this fall. Those plans have now changed as we continue to navigate through these strange times. Here's the latest from the league. The HCAC has voted unanimously to postpone all conference-related contests and competitions, including HCAC championships scheduled for the fall. They were hoping to have some sort of fall season, but now they will focus on future, hopefully after the new year. Today's announcement also says winter sports such as basketball will not hold conference competition prior to January 1st. So like many schools around the country, no fall sports for the Rose Holman Fighting Engineers. That is a wrap for sports. More news to come after a quick timeout.